If your current HVAC system is getting old or it's not working anymore, you're likely getting estimates for a new system from local companies like Fox Family Heating and Air. It's wise to get a few quotes from different companies all around town. Just be careful. My industry can be a little scandalous when it comes to salespeople telling you what needs to be done for your new system to work correctly. One of the details I ask people when I come out for a new AC installation is how the air distribution around the house is. I'm asking things like, are there any hot or cold spots in the house? Are there any bedrooms, offices, or living areas that they'd like to have more air to? And I'd say about 80% of the people that I talk to are just fine with the airflow that they have. All the rooms seem to be balanced just fine. Some people will say yes, that they do have a problem and that they would like to have better comfort in a certain room. In an effort to rack up the price of your new HVAC system, salespeople looking out for their own commission checks will recommend that you spend the extra five to $10,000 to change your ductwork to solve the problem. Is that really necessary? I'd say no, not every time, and here's why. Ducts can be repaired individually. You don't have to replace every duct in your house to get better air to one or two bedrooms. Those rooms can have more airflow delivered to those rooms by increasing the size of the duct leading to the room. Another way to get more air to the room is to relocate the duct on the supply plenum to a spot that's more advantageous for getting air there, typically the end of the plenum. You can fine tune this process by cutting in manual dampers that can be adjusted to decrease the amount of air going to one side of the house so that it can be diverted elsewhere in your home. I still recommend that a professional do this because messing around with the ducts like this is the same as shutting down registers in your home to get more air to another side of the house and I don't recommend doing that. The reason why I don't recommend this is because this airflow disruption can cause high static pressure which can affect the more expensive mechanical parts of your air conditioning system. The aerodynamics of the delivery system is essential to the longevity of the system. That's all I'm saying. So unless you know how to check static pressure in the ductwork, repairs like this should probably be left to the pros. Your supply air ducts connect to your forced air unit, which is either in the closet, the garage, attic or it's a package unit on the roof. The air from the unit gets sent into a big box called a supply plenum. Attached to that supply plenum are several ducts that lead to each one of your rooms. Here's how to tell if those ducts are in good shape or not. The ducts are strapped properly or lying on the floor of the attic. Those ducts are straight, not bent or kinked, restricting airflow. The ducts vapor lining on the outside of the duct is not torn or melted. Good to decent insulation, which maintains the temperature of the air as it heads towards the room that the duct leads to. There's not a lot more that you can ask from your ductwork. If they're adequately strapped, meaning each duct is straight or has long sweeping bends, not kinks, that lead to everywhere they're supposed to go, and they have metal or vinyl straps that secure them in place, that's a good sign. Another thing that you'd like to see for your ductwork is that the vapor lining, which is yellow, pink, gray, black, or silver, is in good shape. Ductwork has an R value to insulate your duct to a set standard. 30 to 50 years ago, those standards were not as high as they are today. So ductwork has evolved in the performance through the following stages. That yellow and pink wrap is actually insulation. They may or may not have a clear wrapping around them either. This wrapping is the vapor lining. If you have this set up, the ductwork may be original to the house, as it's not too common to install them this way anymore. You can expect this ductwork to be 30 to 50 years old. It has an R value of 2. Not the best in the world, but I've seen people keep it because it works just fine, and I support them on that decision. Gray ductwork typically has an R value of 4. Once again, not the freshest ductwork we see out in the field, but if the ductwork still meets those guidelines that I just talked about, people have chosen to keep the ductwork a little bit longer. Black and silver ducts can have an R value of either R6 or R8. R6 has been around in the industry for about 25 years or so. R8 is the newest standard and has the thickest layer of insulation surrounding the inner lining. 
I tell people your ductwork's lifespan is about 30 years. Some people replace them every time they get a new system, but most of the people I sell equipment to don't. That's because it's impractical to do so. Yes, the higher R value of the ductwork, the better performance you'll have. The ductwork will hold the hot or cold air it's delivering inside it better. That translates to cooler or warmer air for your rooms, depending on which season it is. Your decision is whether you want to spend the extra money to change your ductwork out every time you change your HVAC system. Well, hopefully I've armed you with some useful knowledge going into your next HVAC project. Good luck. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.